They say I'm wasting time They don't understand I think You'll stay on my mind It's you over everything You over everything Alone now I'm faded all the time Hazy when I try to think Always on my mind It's you over everything Hi guys, how are you today? My name is Bailey Sarian, and today I want to film with this Gorgina palette. Zoom, zoom. This is the Kat Von D 10th anniversary, 10th anniversary eyeshadow palette. It's going for $52 and it's available on the 21st of May this month, so very soon, but it's super pretty, it's very colorful, and I just had to do something with it, obviously. I did swatch it, all the eyeshadows on my hand, my hand. Honestly, they came off in one swipe, but I used just a flat all over shadow brush and swatched it up, but let's see how they perform on the eye. When I came here to film, I was gonna do like a purplish, reddish look, but after swatching, I mean, these colors are so pretty. I'm very torn now, but let's see. Let's see what we create. So I already have my complexion on and I'm going to prime my eyes. So I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever eyeshadow primer. The one thing I hate about wigs is like the hairs. I don't know how to tame them. I just need to have hair gel on deck, I think, cause they get everywhere. Since I'm gonna be working with matte shadows on my crease, I'm going to place a translucent shadow down first. So this is my Laura Mercier loose setting powder in translucent. I'm gonna place this on like my crease upwards, because I notice with matte eyeshadows, if I don't do this, they tend to stick to the primer, and that's when it gets muddy. Muddy meaning when it looks dark and patchy in certain areas, so I'm placing this down first. I know a lot of people don't like to do this, but it's just what works for me. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna clip this. Yeah! So in my crease, I think I wanna do this mustard shade first. This is the Luxie 229 brush. I'm gonna place this in my crease, like right underneath my brow, where my brow starts. And then slanting it downwards. The lightest touch coming out a little bit. Okay, a lot of it. Now I don't know what I wanna do because there's so many good options. I'm torn between these two. I think I'm gonna do this one first. This is a Stelazzi S112 brush. It's very small and pointed. I'm gonna place this one on the edge of my eye, coming in towards my crease. Ooh, I should probably put powder underneath my eyes. So I just placed the Laura Mercier powder underneath the eyes and that's gonna catch any fallout. Or you could just do your eyes first. So I'm placing this shade on my inner a lid and then on my outer lid as well, so like a halo eye. With a Morphe M506 brush, I want it because it's very small. I'm gonna use this to blend the edges a little bit in here. So I got invited to go to the Cap on D 10th anniversary party and um, it was a lot of fun. It was a gold themed party, so everybody was wearing gold and looked fabulous. I could not find anything gold for the life of me. I was thinking because it's like a, maybe a holiday color and since the holidays are over, I just couldn't find anything. And then I met girls there who were like, oh, I just spray painted my clothes. And I was like, man, smart. I don't know why I didn't think of that. So a lot of you guys are asking me to post pictures of my outfit, but let me tell you, I look like a mess. Like I just kind of threw something together last minute and it was too big for me. So, and too long, cause I'm so short. So my clothes were like dragging on the floor. I tried to wear my biggest platforms that I have so it would make it, me taller and hopefully not drag, but that didn't help me. And yeah, so that's why I didn't post any out, like pictures of what I was wearing or anything like that. But the party, like everyone there was so decked out and beautiful and it was a lot of fun. But I kind of had a full circle moment because if you watched my video where I talked about how I got into makeup, and becoming like a makeup artist and stuff. I got a late start to wearing makeup, but I, when they, my, the local mall that I used to go to all the time, they opened a Sephora. I remember when Kat Von D like first launched in Sephora, I would go in there and just go and stare at her gondola of all her products. And I wanted to buy stuff, but you know, I didn't have any money to buy it. So I would just go in there and stare at all the products 
and think like, oh, one day I'm gonna buy this palette. Eyeshadow palette that was green, it had a bunch of greens in there, but I didn't even know how to really wear makeup, so I didn't know if I was gonna wear it. But I would just go in there and stare. Anyways, and then this girl, Jill, who worked at Sephora at the time, she would see me come in, like a little creep, and just stare at the Kat Von D stuff. And then she came up to me and was like, hey, where do you work? And I told her like, oh, I, worked at, I work at Best Buy. Um, she offered me a job at Sephora. I don't know why, I don't know what she saw in me, but she saw something. Then I got started at Sephora and like that's what really got me into doing makeup. I didn't even know it could be a job or like I didn't even know it would be something that I really enjoyed doing. And then Jill to this day, I keep in touch with her and I assist her with Demi Lovato a lot of the times. And Jill was at the party and it was just like this full circle moment and I almost shed a tear. It was just crazy. So that's my little story. Thank you so much. I just had one of those full circle life moments and just crazy how someone like me who never wore makeup and like didn't even know the first thing about it is now here doing it. The party itself was really fun. It was at like a cathedral and there were tons of people that I follow on Instagram there. And I was just like fangirling deep down inside. I wanted to say hi, but I didn't. I was too nervous. So I'm just like blending a little bit of that mustard shade that did in the crease. Just kind of going back over it, softening the edges, slowly building the color. If you glob it all on at one time, it's gonna look muddy where it just sticks and nothing blends. I think I'm gonna do this green shade now. Mm -hmm. This is the Smith 302 brush. It's technically a lip brush, but I love the shape of it. Um, like meeting up with that last shade I did. Lightly patting it where the two colors meet and coming up towards the crease. Then going back to that really small brush and just blending ever so lightly right up in here, just to soften the edges. And I'm bringing out this blue shade. Okay, for anyone watching at home, let me just tell you something. <laughs> When I do my tutorials, I literally don't know what I'm gonna film and I try to plan, I really do. But then I start to like go and I'm like, actually I wanna do something else instead, always. As I go, I kind of, I kind of figure it out. Sometimes I'm not the best at explaining things because I don't really know what I'm doing until I did it. Like right now, I just, I wanted to bring that color out a little bit more, so that's what I did. But I think that's the fun part of makeup is really just kind of playing, hoping for the best at the same time. So I'm taking a big brush with nothing on it and I'm just going to kind of go back and forth and this will smoke out the shadow and blend it and soften it. It's just pulling the shadow that I already have on my lid like outwards. Now I'm going to add this green shade right here. This is my Urban Decay. The names wear off on these brushes, but I believe it's the Moon Dust eyeshadow brush. So I place this on the center of my lid and then leaving a little circle on the middle of my lid because I'm gonna pop the gold in there. I'm trying to do the most. I'm gonna wipe my brush down that same Urban Decay one with this one right here. Does that look cool? Okay, I think I like this, so I'm gonna move forward. The mustard shade again. The Morphe M501 brush. I'm gonna place this one along my lower lash line. Okay, a lot of people were mad at me when I got a package from Morphe. I did like an unboxing on my Facebook, I think, somewhere. People got mad at me, because they were like, you said you hated Morphe, and yeah, that's pretty much why. But uh, with their brushes, they're not my favorite. They're very cheap and inexpensive. And I like the shape of this one, it's tiny. But a lot of their brushes have not been my favorite. They've fallen apart since using them. Their eyeshadow palette, I think I've used one and I put it on my channel. I think I liked, the, like that one was nice. I'm now going to do this shade right here with my Stelazzi S112 brush. The reason I use it on my channel is because I remember when I first got into doing makeup, like way back in the day when I was scoping out the Kat Von D stuff, I couldn't afford to buy the super expensive stuff. So I was buying everything crown brush. I remember I bought their um, like 250 palette or something that has like 250 colors. That was on sale for like $30 and like that was splurging. And I got some of their brushes and Morphe and Crown have like the exact same brushes. I think they come from the same manufacturer. 
I'm not sure anymore, times have changed. But yeah, they weren't the best, but they were inexpensive and it was what I could afford. So I felt like I shouldn't be so stingy and I should showcase, you know, options on my channel because like, I get it. I couldn't spend $40 on one brush when I could get 60 brushes on crown brush site or whatever. Are there stuff like my favorite? No, but some of their stuff is like really good and it does the job and it's inexpensive. So I can't be mad at that. And some of these brushes, like this one, I love the shape of this one, but the quality of the hair is, is not that great. Pros and cons, pros and cons. Okay, anyway, so I did that, kinda looks Christmassy. Now in this little empty spot I have the green and then do the gold. Woohoo! So this is the finished eye. Don't get too close down because then everyone's gonna see how dry I am. I'm gonna do the other eye now. I'm gonna do that off camera and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do some, the rest of my face, okay? Okay. So I put on a pair of eyelashes. Oh, that's stars. I forgot we had stars. So I put on a pair of eyelashes and I'll leave in the description box what eyelashes these are. I think they are Violet Boss, but I'll figure them out. Now I'm going to do my lips. Also, I'll leave in the description box everything that's on my face. I just wanted this to be a tutorial using the eye products and I guess lips because I'm gonna do my lips now. This is the MAC Lip Liner in Plum. Ooh! My allergies are so bad. I packed on so much makeup under here trying to hide it, but it's not hiding it. And that's all I can see now. To keep it on brand, let's do the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Vampira. I feel like whenever I do a green, I always do a, this kind of lip, like a burgundy. Maybe I should change it up. I'm topping it with my Makeup Forever Artist Acrylic, and this is number 501. This will add a little bit of shine to it. Okay. Okay, and this is the finished look. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you want to recreate? I'm so close to being done, so close. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below of the overall look. Will you be picking up this palette? Do you like this palette? Do you wanna see more looks with this palette? Let me know. I hope you have a good day today. You make good choices and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Now I'm just very insecure of my metal militia look. <laughs> I think we need to start over.